Top 10 Best Places to Visit in Portugal Lisbon and Porto get all the attention, but Portugal offers much more than its attractive old capitals. This little Iberian nation's many highlights include golden beaches, highland parks, and verdant river valleys. Every region has its own unique set of attractions, and deciding where to travel is mostly determined by your personal preferences. If you're looking for sunkissed beaches and aquatic activities, head to the Algarve. For a historic architecture and a rich and traditional dining scene, you can head to Evora. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're counting down our picks for the best places to visit in Portugal. Be sure to like and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. So let's get started. Number 10. Azores The Azores archipelago is located around 1,500 kilometers off the west coast of continental Portugal in the middle of the Atlantic. Its nine volcanic islands have magnificent views and amazing outdoor recreation opportunities. Hiking around the islands is a delight as verdant valleys and mountains overlook scenic shorelines riddled with rugged cliffs, secluded coughs, and pristine beaches. Among its most impressive sites are the towering Mount Pico, the highest peak in the archipelago, and the idyllic crater lake of Lagoa do Fogo. As the waters surrounding the Azores team with life, dolphin and whale watching are popular pastimes, as are scuba diving and sailing. While most people visit the archipelago for its amazing nature parks and marine reserves, it also boasts some lovely seaside cities and towns, such as Ponta Delgada and Angra do Rijimo. Number 9. Coimbra Coimbra, a picturesque city in central Portugal, is home to a treasure trove of historic structures, gorgeous gardens, the country's second form of fado music, and a bustling culture centered around one of Europe's oldest colleges. One of the best things to do in Coimbra is to simply get lost and discover the many historic attractions from the stunning old cathedral to the Gothic monastery of Santa Clara Avelha, which contains the tomb of Queen Isabel. No trip to Coimbra would be complete without a visit to the University of Coimbra to admire one of the world's most beautiful libraries, the Joanina Library. Cobblestone squares throughout the city offer coin shops, cafes to drink coffee, and people watch while lovely city parks and botanical gardens are perfect for leisurely strolls and picnics. The vibrant culture scene in Coimbra is most noted for its fado music performances and academic festivals, which feature a tin can parade welcoming students at the beginning of the school year and an eight-day burning of the ribbon party following the end of the second semester. Number 8. Evora Evora is a small town in southern Portugal's Alentejo plains, but it has a lot to offer tourists. Evora was originally a thriving Roman metropolis with a history dating back more than 2,000 years. Today, Evora is the capital of the Alentejo region and is known for its well-preserved old town, which houses over 4,000 historic structures, including old Roman walls and temples. All of Evora's main attractions lie within close distance of one another, making the city easy to explore by foot. A really enjoyable way to sightsee Evora is by a horse carriage ride, which can be found near the 13th century Cathedral of Evora, one of Portugal's most important Gothic structures. Other must-see historic sites include Geraldo Square with its Renaissance fountain, the University of Evora, an eccentric chapel decorated with actual human bones and the ruins of an ancient Roman temple. A stroll along the city's old aqueduct offers a myriad of shops, cafes, and houses cleverly tucked between the arches. Not far outside the city is Europe's largest complex of prehistoric megalithus, which are also worth a look. Number 7. Aveiro Aveiro is a lively city in central Portugal that is sometimes referred to as the Venice of Portugal, due to its attractive environment of scenic canals connected by charming bridges and filled with colorful gondolas and speedboats. Aveiro is also a popular tourist destination due to its historic attractions, beautiful beaches, and delicious cuisine. The most enjoyable way to experience Aveiro is by walking, but tour boats and a free-use bicycle system are also available for getting around. 
Aveiro's many sightseeing gems include the Aveiro Cathedral, the São Gonçalino Chapel, and the Covento de Jesus. These all offer lovely architecture and artworks. The Forum Aveiro is a shopping mall featuring a wide selection of shops. Restaurants, markets like the Fish Market and the Central Market are great places to find fresh fish, meat, produce, and handicrafts perfect for souvenirs. Known as the Silver Coast, Aveiro's coastline is well loved for its clean, beautiful beaches such as Costa Nova, São Jacinto, and Barra, which offer swimming, sailing, and kite surfing. Number 6. Tavira Tavira is cited in many guidebooks as the most attractive town in the Algarve, and it certainly checks all the scenic boxes. The Rio de Lao runs through this relaxed town with a Roman footbridge connecting one side to the other. The waterfront makes for a wonderful walk before or after you've uncovered the rest of Tavira's historic treasures. The castle walls provide glorious views across the old town and the nearby coast. You can also explore the Igreja de Santa do Castelo, the grandiose church where warrior knights are entombed. The town also boasts a fascinating museum, the Nucleus Lamico. Highlights include a rare 11th century figurative vase. An appealing option, especially during the hot summer months, is to visit the offshore El Hadutavira, an enormous beach that, even in high season, has plenty of room to spare. It's reached by passenger ferry from a jetty at Cuatro Aguas. Number 5. Parque Natural da Raya Formosa the Algarve is well known for its gorgeous coastline, and the Parque Natural da Raya Formosa is one of its natural treasures. This protected marine ecosystem is a 60-kilometer length of shallow water lagoons, marshland, salt pans, and sand dune islands that runs east from Quinta do Lago, past Faru, to Casella Vela, a haven for an abundance of flora and fauna. The park is crisscrossed by a series of nature trails with proximity to some of the animals associated with this region of Portugal, from observation heights built on the lakes. Bird watchers can spy species like the rare purple gallinule, while out on the mudflats, flocks of greater flamingo can be admired. On land, look out for the delicate sea daffodil, flourishing goosefoot, and if you're lucky, the Mediterranean Chameleon. One of the walks passes the renowned San Lorenzo Golf Course itself a draw for all sorts of bird life. The park's headquarters are near Olaho, where visitors can pick up maps and information leaflets. Number 4. Obidos What does a king give his queen for a wedding present? Well, for the lucky queens of Portugal, it was the achingly pretty town of Abidos a custom that prevailed for hundreds of years. These days, it's gifted to the general public, and it's certainly worth the hour's drive north out of Lisbon to reach it. Obidos is an artist's dream, an assortment of whitewashed cottages, cafes, and handicraft stores lining a series of narrow cobbled streets are completely enclosed by sturdy medieval walls. There is also the Igreja de Santa Maria, which features a wonderful interior of blue and white 17th century azulejos. A museum on the town's attractive square includes rare works of art by the 17th century painter Joseph Adobidos. You can walk along the top of the battlements for lovely views over the terracotta rooftops and lush plains beyond. The fortifications form part of the landmark castle, whose key plumes guardian like over the charming scene below. The castle itself is now a posada, an upscale period hotel. Number 3. Sintra Enchanting Sintra is one of the gems in Portugal's glittering sightseeing crown. Recognized by UNESCO for its remarkable cultural landscape, this historic and captivating town is definitely worth putting aside a full day to absorb. It's one of the most popular day trips from Lisbon. Clustered under the lip of the wooded Serra da Santra hills, the town is dominated by the landmark Palacio Nacional. Its signature twin chimneys looming over a pretty square edged with houses painted in a palette of pale pink and ochre with splashes of yellow. 
Peering down over this picture postcard setting is the ancient Castello dos Muros, seemingly hewn out of the granite escarpment it runs along. Crowning the highest hill is the bewitching Palacio da Pena, used in the 19th century as a summer retreat by the Portuguese royal family. Sintra offers plenty of hiking trails for the avid walker, but you will need a stout pair of legs to conquer the demanding hills surrounding the town. The highest points of the Serra offer breathtaking views across the Atlantic coastline and distant Qashqais. Number 2. Porto With its robust granite architecture and commercial disposition, Porto, which is Portugal's second city, rewards visitors with a very different experience to that of the capital. Sighted at the mouth of the river Douro and blessed with a waterfront, the Ribeira, acknowledged by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, Porto is a destination endowed with baroque churches and neoclassical buildings that number some of the best examples of their kind in the country. Of particular note are the needle-like Torre dos Colirigos and the imposing C, the city's cathedral. Another landmark structure is the iconic Ponte Dom Luis I, the spectacular double-checked iron bridge that spans the Douro and connects the city with Vela Nova de Gaia. A leisurely stroll along the Ribeira delivers a tangible sense of history, where you can breathe in the briny atmosphere of the place. The river provides a scenic route to the Douro Valley, a verdant landscape of terraced hillsides dotted with hamlets and villages. A popular sightseeing option is to join one of the many cruises that ply the meandering waterway. Number 1. Lisbon The capital of Portugal is one of Europe's most alluring cities. Set on the banks of the River Tagus, this vibrant Atlantic port is scattered over a series of hills that heighten its splendid waterfront location. Exploring the city's historic core is a journey into its fascinating past, a heritage exemplified by celebrated visitor attractions, such as the mighty Castello de São George and a Flama, the oldest part of Lisbon. A collection of world-class museums extends the cultural experience. To the east, away from the city center, you can marvel at the modernity of Parque das Nações and its crowd-pulling sites such as the brilliant Ocenario. Across to the western Belém, Portugal's golden age of discovery is mirrored in the magnificent Mosteiro dos Jerónimos and the quirky Torre de Belém, both UNESCO World Heritage Sites. In between, you can amble across handsome tree-lined squares, stroll along road, riverfront esplendas, or take in jaw-dropping panoramas from the various miradouros, or viewpoints, dotted across the city. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any travel updates.